All right, folks, back to the RC videos. I'm be putting out a bunch of them here pretty soon with the warmer weather. I have some good footage, and hopefully with the music, it turns out just fine. In the meantime, this is a little instructional uh, and demonstration, I guess you could say, of I got a bubble blower attachment for my V959 chopper. And there's a couple different things you can add on to the back, the uh, belly of it, and the camera comes with mine. And then I got the bullets. I might show that too in this video. The fountain I heard um, does not last that long. It's kind of waste, you know, useless. And then the rescue uh, crane be kind of cool, but it's kind of not uh, very useful because the quad doesn't have much lift. So I already have this one. I already have this one. It's pretty cool, but it kind of shoots them all at the same time when it shouldn't. Uh, and so this one that's in this box is the actual bubble blower and that has a little reservoir on it itself and uh, it should last a decent amount of time whereas the the water cannon just kinda shoots it out and you're done uh, so we're gonna try this out today it's a beautiful day outside and uh, some good lighting and all that stuff pretty low wind so I should be able to put it up, up in the air and, and show you what it does or doesn't do. We'll see. I literally have not tested it yet. I'm just opening the box uh, right now. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Doing this one-handed. Sorry. Comes a nice little uh, kit. And these things are only a couple of dollars from Banggood. Gives you a good size uh, container of uh, actual bubble solution there. And there's the dropper to actually fill it. And then there's the actual little unit there. I'll pull it out here in a second. All right, so this is a little more complicated than I thought. Either way, all these attachments really cool. It snaps right in right here and and here onto the bottom of the V959. And then the circuit board has all the connections for them. They're all marked for the different uh, accessories. So this just simply plugs in. So it's really nice. And uh, it's kind of got a little motor there and the tubing. And that's got a uh, wiper arm looks like on there to keep moving up and down to make the bubbles individual instead of one big long one. And then there's a the little reservoir in the back. So it's a decent size one considering you know how bubbles are. They uh, um, they they uh, they take you know it doesn't take much solution to to put out quite a bit of bubbles for a while. So we're gonna see how long this thing lasts. It's got a little blower right there to kick up the air through the channel here. So it looks pretty cool. Once it's so nice, like I said, they just snap right on. All these things just snap right in, and you plug it in and go. Okay, so I got it on there, and like I said, it just pops onto there. But it pops in backwards and shoots out the back. Uh, I thought that was kind of weird, but then again, I thought about, well, I'd be flying forward. You want to be shooting at the back, right? I just never thought about how it would mount on there. So I got it on there, and it just clips in. Nice and simple. And it actually... Oh, it's at this side actually. There's not an actual one that says blower on it, bubble blower. Uh, it just says, let me get it focused. It says sprayer on it. got the hoist there, sprayer, missile, and video camera. And uh, this one plugs right into the sprayer port. And I tried it already. It works just fine. Alright, we got the body back on. Got it filled up. And we're going to try it out now. The top left button here is the button to press for your function button. And we're going to let it prime a little bit and then we're going to try it out ah, that's pretty good that's a good amount actually so we're going to test it here in a second while it's flying and I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool and like I said that, that little reservoir in there should last uh, quite a while so we'll, we'll see So it's pretty cool. You should probably be able to see them. Puts out a good amount of bubbles. And we're out. Alright, I got the Gatlin gun on there. You can see it's pretty menacing looking. And uh, we're going to try it out and show you how it works. Okay, so I figure just sitting here would be a, a good way to test it. We're going to shoot the camera. And like I said, you hit the button, and usually it shoots all of them at once. So I'm going to tap it real quick and see if we can uh, shoot these at least one at a time. Okay, I think we're all locked on. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Okay, it's shot two. This is pretty cool. Okay, that's shot one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is uh, test for distance. And we got about three feet off the ground, and we're gonna shoot them off. And we're gonna see how far these puppies shoot, because I know people have a lot of questions about these, and there's not many videos out there that uh, show the capabilities of these missiles. Shot a couple. So they all went about the same distance. I'd say it's about eight feet. Here, five, about seven, eight feet. So that's pretty decent. And uh, they're pretty powerful, especially at a shorter range. All right, so I'd say either way, the Begatlin gun and the bubble blower is definitely the ones to get. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised they actually did something and weren't just uh, little play toys. They actually shot pretty hard and the uh, bubbles were uh, plentiful and small uh, and they definitely did their job. I can't wait for the dogs to go after them and uh, test them out even further.